Welcome to this tutorial about traffic micro simulation with vSIM software from the PTV group. In this tutorial we will learn the fundamental program principles starting from scratch. vSIM provides a user-friendly, intuitive and versatile handling. The first thing that we will find when using the program within the user interface is the home page where we will find useful information such as the list of recently opened files information on support services, training options, and access to examples. At the bottom, we will find information about the new service pack if available. We will also find information about news, releases, and other aspects that help us keep up to date within what is happening in this world of modeling with Visim. At the moment, we are going to close the home page and we are going to start. For those people who are using this, the program for the first time, I will recommend, as an icebreaker exercise, go to the Help menu, where we will find the Examples option and the Demo directory. Here we have a gallery of very interesting examples, where we can open a file and do a first exercise to explore what it contains and how it is configured. To open the files, I like to drag and free them inside the working area. Once the model is opened, the intention is to begin to gain confidence and become familiar with the system's own elements, analyze how they are constructed and parameterized. For now, we will run the simulation with the blue play button. In this particular example, I would like to focus on telling you that the software has to work in modes, which are the 2D mode, where we can perform the construction and configuration of the network, and the 3D mode that is mainly used for visualization. To toggle between one mode and another, we can use the cube-shaped icon or the abbreviation Ctrl D. Additionally, in terms of navigation, we have conventional options such as zoom, lateral movements using the mouse wheel. We can also rotate the network using the corresponding icons. So, the program offers us familiar management options similar to other design programs. Very well. So far, we have seen some preliminary aspects related to modes and navigation in the software. For now, we are going to stop the simulation and, well, it is all for now. See you in the next tutorial. If this information is useful for you, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for the next releases and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.